Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have what appears to be a brand new Park Industries Flip Top Petrol Lighter Advertising Tyson Transit Mix Corp. Out of Pocock, New York. I will not be lighting this lighter. As far as I can tell, it's never been fueled. and does not have a flint in it. It does show some surface wear, scratches, maybe a ding, but definitely a couple of scratches here on the back, scuffs. But the green is a very cool, deep green. Then offset with the silver lettering of the advertising. It'd be nice if it had some kind of graphics or a depiction or a photo of something, picture of something, rather than just text. But what the hell? It could just be a plain silver lighter. Has the telephone number there without an area code, which makes me wonder exactly what year this would have been produced. And I did go off looking for a good deal of information, but didn't find much except for the old trustworthy Toledo Bend VCL site by our friend Frank Dutton. If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video you're watching Tell your friends about the channel, hit the share button, send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. That'll be Dependable Flame or DependableFlame.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. As I was saying, over at the Toledo Bend VCL site, there is a very nice article um, written about the Park Company, what was Park Sherman, was originally began in, I believe, Chicago before moving to Springfield, Illinois in the 1920s. And then, as we've talked about many times in the past, being purchased by a New Jersey company around 1960 and moved to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, which is what is marked on the bottom of this ladder. Murfreesboro, Tennessee, USA. But Mr. Dutton has a very nice article written up there explaining the whole time and the naming of the company and um, Anyway, I've got that link to my page, dependableflame.com slash helpful lighter related links. 
dash between each word on that. Go over there and check that out. If you click on the green information button where the park heading is, then you'll open up the article that explains the genesis of the, of the company and kind of a little synopsis there of the company's history. So very cool and I really enjoyed that. It's been so long since that site has been working properly to where you could click on every link and photo and magnify everything and see and read and for every link to be available on that side it's been a while so it was very enjoyable for me to click on that and see it um, that site was gone for several years and I didn't get around to reading that article before it was gone Now the lighter is both a aluminum case and aluminum insert. The insert does not appear to be marked at all and does have a plastic a plastic flint screw which I drilled that out it's all fine that's about the extent of that sorry looking wick which I left it in there because it's brand new and doesn't look like it's ever been struck so I don't know I don't figure I'm gonna light it I think I'm gonna keep this lighter as part of my collection of green themed lighters so I think I'll just leave that original wick but there's no more of it in there than really what you see there and it's a sorry looking wick too but it also does have the solid fuel cell which some people find cool I don't know doesn't really make me one difference or another especially when I'm not going to use the lighter so but hey that floats your boat I also think it is interesting that the green, I assume that's anodized aluminum that got the green effect on there. And then the hinge, obviously, I don't know what metal it's made of, but that you've got these rivets being two different colors. seems like they ought to be the same color but I don't know maybe they're trying to match that rivet with the silver on the front where this rivet seems to be about the same as the hinge but a nice brand new condition vintage lighter If you haven't been over to eBay lately and checked out DependableFlame.com's eBay store, make sure you do that. Every purchase you make, at least 10% will benefit HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America. And then we also have three penny start auctions each month where 100% of those auctions benefit HDSA so whatever that's all done through PayPal and eBay I never even see that money hit my account it's all administered it's uh, it's a beautiful thing I really love it um, really glad that I was convinced at the beginning of this to do that it was my daughter that inspired me to do that and I'm glad that I did. I 
Until next time.